The Earth has gone through five mass extinctions, and each time the dominant life forms, the rulers of the planet, were completely replaced. If humans become the next to vanish in a sixth extinction, then who will take our place? The first mass extinction struck around 440 million years ago, at the end of the Ordovician period. Back then, Earth was ruled by ocean life. Trilobites, brachiopods, and ancient sea creatures filled the waters. But then came a sudden ice age and a dramatic drop in sea levels. These changes wiped out 85% of marine species. When the dust settled, jawed fish and crustaceans emerged as the new rulers of the sea. But their reign wouldn't last long. Around 370 million years ago, the second mass extinction arrived. This time, it was triggered by low oxygen levels in the ocean and massive volcanic activity. Coral reefs collapsed, and once dominant fish and crustaceans were devastated. Roughly 75% of all species disappeared. And then, quietly, and for the first time, some creatures stepped onto land. Amphibians. The first animals with legs began walking on solid ground. Land became a new stage for life, but peace didn't last. About 250 million years ago, the end of the Permian period brought the most devastating extinction in Earth's history. Enormous volcanic eruptions in Siberia triggered climate chaos, released methane gas, and acidified the oceans. Over 90% of all species vanished. Even amphibians couldn't survive. But in the shadows of this catastrophe, new creatures began to rise. Reptiles and early synapsids, the ancestors of mammals. Still, the true rulers had yet to appear. Fast forward to 200 million years ago, at the end of the Triassic period. Another wave of volcanic eruptions and a spike in carbon dioxide wrecked the climate again. Many reptile groups collapsed, and into that void stepped the dinosaurs. Powerful predators, towering herbivores, flying pterosaurs, and giant marine reptiles. For the next 130 million years, Earth belonged to them. It was truly the age of dinosaurs, a real-life Jurassic Park. But even the mightiest reign ends. Around 66 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous, a massive asteroid slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. The impact sparked global wildfires, dust clouds, darkness, and deep cold. 75% of species were wiped out, including all non-avian dinosaurs. And once again, the world's rulers were replaced. This time, it was the tiny mammals that rose. Creatures that had lived in the shadows, underground, and in the dark. With the dinosaurs gone, they rapidly evolved. They stood on two legs, they tamed fire, they built tools, spoke language, and eventually created civilization. And now, we are their legacy. Today, we live in the age of humans. But many scientists believe the age of humans may not last forever. We are not the first rulers of Earth, and we may not be the last. If humans were to disappear one day, then the Earth would find new rulers. So who would become the sixth ruler of the Earth? And one of the most likely candidates is the octopus. Octopuses are not just sea creatures. They have highly developed nervous systems and large brains. Each of their arms contains a semi-independent network of neurons, almost like having a mind of its own in every arm. They can solve puzzles, remember mazes, even recognize and react differently to people they like or dislike. They've been seen using tools and their intelligence rivals that of primates. But unlike us, they evolved that intelligence along a completely different path. Right now, their short lifespans and underwater environments limit how far they can go. But if humans were gone, and if hundreds of thousands or even millions of years passed, octopuses might adapt to life beyond the sea. They might walk on land, they might use tools, they might even build their own kind of civilization. The Earth has always waited for its next rulers. There's no guarantee that we'll be the last. 
the earth will endure. Only its rulers will change.